Welcome to PC Tricks Guru YouTube channel and uh, in today's video we'll check about an error which I think could be a bug of Windows 10 itself because uh, whenever we try to connect to a virtual machine using Hyper-V in Windows 10 it does not let us connect it gives a connection error so let's see that what exactly that error is and uh, what could be the reason behind it how to fix it let's go ahead and check all of this so uh, let me open the Hyper-V manager. I have already created a shortcut over here, but if you do not have the shortcut, you can just uh, click on the search bar and then type Hyper. So type Hyper and you can see that Hyper-V manager is here. Click on Hyper-V manager and after clicking on Hyper-V manager, you'll see that uh, I have already created a virtual machine for Windows Server 2012 R2 and I'll try to connect and I'll try to um, use the virtual machine. So for that, I'll right click over here and click on connect. After clicking on connect, it will start the virtual machine. Click on start. Now the connection is being established. We can see that uh, the virtual machine is running and now it's trying to connect to the uh, Windows Server 2012. It's trying to connect to the uh, virtual environment which will run our operating system within this. But uh, as you can see that it's giving us error, cannot connect to virtual machine, try to connect again. If the problem persists, contact your system administrator. Would you like to try connecting again? Connect or exit? So I know that it's not going to connect. If you click on connect, it will get stuck in a loop where it will try to connect, connect, connect. So it will keep reconnecting to the virtual machine, but it's never going to be successful in that. So now we can click on exit and shut down the virtual machine. So I'll go ahead and click on shut down. Okay, so now you can see that the state of this virtual machine is an off. It has been shut down completely. So we can close our Hyper-V manager and then let's go ahead and check that which is the default port number which is used by Windows 10 for Hyper-V and virtual machine connectivity. So for that, you have to open a run. So click on the start button and type run and click on run application In run type REGEDIT which is for registry editor. So it will open a registry editor, Windows registry editor and this is the path which you need to locate in the registry editor. So you have to go to HKEY local machine. In HKEY local machine you have to click on software. After expanding the software you have to scroll down and look for Microsoft. In Microsoft you have to look for Windows NT. So if I scroll down and here is Windows NT, you can see it's already expanded. So Windows NT is there. In Windows NT, you have to expand current version. And in current version, you have to look for virtualization, which is here. After clicking on virtualization, you have to look at the right side of the registry editor and look for the DVOD listener port. So here is a listener port and if I check the value of it, it's 2179. So which is uh, this 2179 is the default port number for Windows 10 operating system. And uh, all we need to do is to check that whether the connectivity is there or not. So as we already know that Windows is not able to communicate with this port number, but again, if we want to verify it, we just have to do it through the command prompt. So I'll open CMD as administrator. So click on command prompt, right click and click on run as administrator. After running the command prompt as administrator, you have to type the command netstat, then space, then a hyphen symbol, after hyphen symbol, type ANO. Then again, put a space and then this vertical line symbol, then put a space again and then type find FIND. Then put a space again and type the port number, which is 2179. Inverted commas, close and hit enter. 
After hitting enter, you can see that it did not return any result. It means that uh, the port number 2179, Windows is not able to find the port number 2179. It's not able to communicate or connect with the port number 2179. So this is the problem actually. And to fix the problem, we have to change this port number from 2179 to 21791. So let's do it and I'll minimize. After minimizing the command prompt, click on listener port again, double click on it and then go to the decimal value of it and then put an additional one after nine. Click OK. Now type the command again and put an extra one and type enter but it will not listen to the this port number as well because we'll have to restart a service in windows which is responsible for the uh, virtual machine so i'll hit enter and you can see that nothing is happening so now to make windows listen to this port number if i close this uh, registry editor we have to open PowerShell. So type PowerShell, Windows PowerShell, run it as administrator. PowerShell is running here. So in PowerShell, the command which we have to use is stop, stop then service, and then the name of the service. Uh, before service, we have to put a hyphen symbol actually. So stop hyphen servi ce stop hyphen service and then the service name is vmms vmms okay and hit enter now the service has been stopped again to start the service type start hyphen and repeat the commands service vmms and hit enter now minimize it and let's see that whether Windows has started listening to the port number 21791 or not. So if I type the command and hit enter, you can see that now it is listening to the port number. So both the TCPs are working. You can see that uh, it's listening to the port number. So let's go back to our Hyper-V manager and try to connect to the uh, virtual machine. And let's see if it works. And I'm sure it should definitely work because now Windows is listening to the port number. And the funny thing about it is that if I remove this one from here and if I hit enter, it's listening to the port number 2179 as well. But if I go back in Windows registry and change it to 2179, it will again start giving us error. So this seems to be a bug in Windows and it's not new, it's a very old bug. I tried to search the internet, I tried to check for a permanent solution for this problem and I did not see, I did not find any uh, working solution. Everyone was suggesting to delete the Hyper-V, change the system date and time, but they were all useless. None of the solutions were working. Even Microsoft does not have any solution for this officially stated on their website as far as I know. So let's minimize the command prompt and launch the Hyper-V manager. So I have launched Hyper-V manager and let's go ahead and right click on Windows Server and connect it. So connection is being established. Click on start. After clicking start, let's see if it gives us error or if it gets connected to the Windows Server. And voila, you can see that it's now connected to the Windows Server. Windows is loading. Windows Server 2012 is booting up. If I maximize the screen, so here you can see that now we are using our virtual machine, which is running Windows Server 2012 R2. So here it says press Control Alt Delete to sign in. Okay, Control Alt Delete is done. Now administrator and the password. I have set up a password for this. Okay, so Windows 
is being prepared the desktop is being prepared for the first time use and you can see that it's been connected okay this is great so we can see that we have start menu here and everything the administrative tools for server windows partial server manager task manager internet explorer control panel desktop everything is there server manager is loading up if we want to check the configuration of the device let's check it so here you can see windows server 2012 r2 and it's the data center edition windows is activated and this is the uh, amount of ram which i have assigned for this virtual machine i have assigned 2 gb of ram so that's it we are able to successfully resolve the issue we are able to fix the problem now if you want to work on windows server if you want to learn about the fismo roles and uh, the active directory and all the other things related to a server you can just do your experiments you can do your practicals over this uh, virtual machine so that was it let me exit out of the virtual machine we can just close it and shut it down so right click here and click on shut down after clicking on shutting down after clicking on shut down the uh, windows server virtual machine is shutting down and you can see that it's off now so that was it for today i hope that you liked the video if you liked the video make sure to share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to the channel because i'll be uploading several useful and important tips and tricks in this channel and uh, do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications in your browser so a subs will be appreciated thank you again for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.